Hey guys, what's going on? Trimary Gooey Duck here, and I'm playing Team Deathmatch on Bootleg using MK14 with Support Strike Package. And today I wanted to talk about two things actually, both in the news, one from Australia and one from London. The first one being from Australia is Clive Palmer and the Titanic 2. You've probably seen it if you're on Twitter, the fact that it's trending, and probably on Facebook too. But, like, they are, he is serious about this. The guy's worth like $5 billion or something. But he announced earlier today, if you're on the East Coast of the United States, that he plans on building Titanic 2 to the exact specs of the original Titanic. What the hell, bro? Like, seriously. What is going on in that big, fat head of yours to want make you want to build something? Succeeding something that has already sank on its maiden voyage. Like, he is planning on, after, he's having a build in China. And after it's built, around 2016 is when they're expecting it to be finished. He is going to put it on the exact same route as the original, from England to New York. Um, yeah, about that, dude. If this one sinks, he is going to be the shame of the world. But he also, in, like, first he said, oh, I'm running for prime minister. Assistant prime minister, I believe, actually. And then he's like, oh, by the way, I'm building Titanic 2. This guy is such an idiot. I feel sorry for anyone in an Australia right now. But enough of me ranting on about stupid people on the other side of the world. This one actually comes from across the Atlantic in London. And as you all probably know, the Olympics are going to be hosted there this summer. And London is apparently going to put land-to-air missiles on apartment complexes. They're actually testing right now to see if they can attach it to a water tower on the roof of an apartment. Um, wow. But Britain is also going to be putting in 13,500 troops on between land, sea, and air, along with Jets, helicopters, two warships, and bomb disposal will all be there for like two months. So, I highly doubt that anything is going to happen at the Summer Olympics recently. The one apartment complex that they are looking for is in Bow or Bow. I really don't know how to pronounce it. There's about 700 people living there, which is about two minute miles from the stadium, and have been contacted to warn that weapons and about 10 troops are likely to be based around the site for two months. Apparently this building, I guess it's really only this one building they're going to do because it's like a high, it's a gated community or whatever. But... London has really, really, really stepped up on this. They apparently, the few people the reporter talked to said that absolutely nobody is, hap is happy about it. They don't even think it like will be needed. 
And the report also said the missile system will only be authorized for active use following specific orders from the highest levels of government in response to a confirmed and extreme security threat. Um, I highly doubt someone's just going to walk up and be like, yo, we plan on bombing this place. It's going to be at this time, so you can try to stop it right then. Oh my lord, the world is so stupid. And there's also the four-year-old in the news today about wearing the makeup. And the mother claims the daughter doesn't wear, like, eyeliner or lipstick or foundation. So, I mean, if she's just wearing, like, one or two things because it makes her feel like she's trying to be mature, I mean, let her use her imagination. Imagination, wow. She's a kid. She isn't trying to be flawless. She's just having fun doing what her mother's doing. Little boys wear camo because daddy does, so why can't girls wear something because mom does? P-World overreacts about everything. Well, this video is coming to an end. So, on that note, guys, I will catch you later. And calm the fuck down about everything. Jesus Christ, people. It's life. Get over it.